HIV Symptoms in Mouth Hello, Mark Medicals here teaching about HIV infection like HIV treatment, HIV testing, and HIV transmission. In this video, we shall learn about the following. 1. How long does it take for HIV symptoms to show? 2. How long do AIDS symptoms take to show up? 3. HIV symptoms in the mouth. Alright, here we go, guys. 1. How long does it take for HIV symptoms to show? As already mentioned in our many videos, early HIV symptoms experienced by a person after HIV exposure include fever, flu-like symptoms, skin rash, sore throat, and many others. These symptoms occur because your body has started to react to the new disease and the virus is multiplying at a very high rate. Only about 65% will see the symptoms in 2 to 4 weeks meaning that, many people will not have any problem at all. If you experience any flu-like symptoms weeks after unprotected intercourse, then better go for an HIV test. 2. How long do AIDS symptoms take to show up? Hope you guys now know that, HIV is just a virus, and AIDS simply mean a group of signs and symptoms or a syndrome. If you are living with HIV and not on any HIV treatment, your body immunity will be weakened and will advance to the AIDS stage in about 10 years. So, on average, you will develop AIDS symptoms and signs in about 10 to 15 years if not treated. The bad news is that, once diagnosed with AIDS, you will only have a maximum of 3 years to live, and the risks of HIV transmission to your loved ones will be the highest. 3. HIV Symptoms in the Mouth There are not many early HIV symptoms that are usually seen in the mouth, unless you already have AIDS. Early HIV symptoms in the mouth include sores on the tongue, painful swallowing also called oral thrush, and sores around your lips like stomatitis, canker, and others. Note that, everybody, HIV positive or negative can easily get certain diseases leading to symptoms in the mouth. You can only know if you have HIV or not by HIV testing. People with HIV phobia and anxiety continue experiencing false symptoms even after testing HIV negative. If you are one of this kind, please be advised to see a psychologist or a counselor for assurance. Do not use symptoms to diagnose HIV, but make sure you had an HIV test after the window period. Hope you guys know that early HIV testing helps in accessing HIV treatment earlier and reduces HIV transmission to loved ones.